Hugh Edwards was a fixture in British homes. As a prominent BBC news anchor, his face was synonymous with trust and credibility. For decades, he delivered the news with gravitas and authority. His Welsh lilt and calm demeanour made him a reassuring presence during times of national and international crises. Edwards's career was marked by numerous accolades and awards, cementing his place as one of the most respected journalists in the UK. He was more than just a newsreader, he was an institution. Behind this carefully crafted public persona, a darker story was unfolding. In July 2023, allegations surfaced that shattered Edwards's pristine image and sent shockwaves through the BBC and beyond. A young man accused Edwards of paying him for explicit images, claiming he had been groomed by the presenter while still a teenager. The accusations, vehemently denied by Edwards at the time, sent the media into a frenzy. The allegations against Edwards first came to light through a report in newspaper. The publication detailed claims made by the mother of the alleged victim, who said her child had been paid thousands of pounds by an unnamed BBC presenter in exchange for explicit images. The young person, who was 17 years old at the time the alleged payments began, claimed the money was used to fund a drug addiction. The revelations sparked a media firestorm with speculation rife about the identity of the presenter. The BBC, initially unaware of the presenter's identity, launched an internal investigation into the matter. The Metropolitan Police also began their own inquiries, seeking to establish whether any criminal offences had taken place. The allegations sent shockwaves through the BBC, where Edwards was a highly respected and trusted figure. At the heart of this scandal was the harrowing account of the young man who claimed to be Edwards's victim. In interviews, he described how Edwards had allegedly groomed him over several years, beginning when he was just a teenager. He alleged that Edwards had showered him with compliments, gifts and money, exploiting his vulnerability and desire for attention. The young man claimed that Edwards' actions had a devastating impact on his life, leading him down a path of addiction and despair. He painted a picture of a manipulative individual who used his position of power and influence to exploit a vulnerable young person. This testimony, raw and deeply personal, resonated with many who saw it as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of grooming and exploitation. The young man's account detailed how what began as seemingly harmless online interactions quickly escalated into something far more sinister. He claimed that Edwards, aware of his financial struggles, began offering him money in exchange for explicit images. The payments, which allegedly amounted to tens of thousands of pounds over several years, were used by the young person to fund a spiralling drug addiction. The alleged victim described feeling trapped in a cycle of exploitation, unable to break free from Edwards' grasp. He claimed that Edwards used emotional blackmail and manipulation to keep him quiet, threatening to expose their relationship if he ever spoke out. These allegations painted a disturbing picture of abuse of power and exploitation. Section 5. Public outrage and legal investigations. News of the allegations against Edwards sent shockwaves through the UK. The public, accustomed to seeing Edwards as a trusted source of information, struggled to reconcile the accusations with the persona he presented on screen. Social media became a hotbed of speculation and debate, with many expressing shock, disbelief and anger. The Metropolitan Police launched an investigation into the allegations, interviewing the alleged victim, his family members and potential witnesses. The BBC, facing intense scrutiny over its handling of the matter, also initiated an internal review of its safeguarding policies and procedures. Section 6 Edwards' guilty plea, a shocking turn of events. In a dramatic turn of events, Hugh Edwards was arrested in November 2022 on charges of possessing indecent images of children. The charges, unrelated to the initial grooming allegations, stemmed from a separate investigation by South Wales Police. Edwards, who had been on leave from the BBC since the initial allegations surfaced, was suspended from his role pending the outcome of the legal proceedings. In March 2023, Edwards pleaded guilty to three counts of making indecent images of children. The court heard that Edwards had downloaded over 40 indecent images. 
some of which were classified as Category A, the most severe level. The images which depicted children as young as seven years old had been downloaded by Edwards over a period of several years. Section 7, day, erosion of trust media personalities under scrutiny. The Edwards scandal sent ripples of shock and concern throughout the media landscape. It served as a stark reminder that even those in positions of power and influence are not immune to accusations of serious wrongdoing. The public, already grappling with a growing sense of distrust in traditional media outlets, found their faith in news personalities further shaken. The case fueled a broader conversation about the responsibility of media organisations to address issues of accountability and transparency. It highlighted the need for robust safeguarding measures to protect vulnerable individuals, both within and outside of the workplace. Section 8, the BBC's response internal reviews and public statements. The BBC found itself at the epicentre of a crisis following the allegations against Edwards. The organisation faced intense criticism over its handling of the initial grooming claims, with some accusing it of being slow to act and protect the alleged victim. The BBC launched an independent review into its culture and practices, seeking to identify any failings and implement changes to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. In the wake of Edward's guilty plea, the BBC issued a statement expressing shock and condemning his actions in the strongest possible terms. The organisation reiterated its commitment to safeguarding and supporting victims of abuse, pledging to cooperate fully with the ongoing police investigation. Section 9, Navigating the Legal and Ethical Maze. The Edwards case presented a complex web of legal and ethical considerations. The initial grooming allegations, while deeply concerning, did not result in criminal charges due to insufficient evidence. However, the subsequent charges of possessing indecent images of children carried significant legal ramifications. The case also raised ethical questions about media responsibility the presumption of innocence and the duty of care owed to both alleged victims and those accused of wrongdoing. It highlighted the challenges of balancing individual rights with the need to protect vulnerable individuals from harm. Section 10, Safeguarding the Vulnerable, a Collective Responsibility. The Hugh Edwards scandal serves as a stark reminder of the importance of safeguarding vulnerable individuals. It underscores the need for vigilance, open communication and robust systems to identify and address potential risks. Protecting children and young people from exploitation requires a collective effort from families, communities and institutions. The case highlights the devastating impact of grooming and abuse, emphasising the need for greater awareness, education and support for victims. It underscores the importance of creating a culture where individuals feel empowered to speak out and report abuse, knowing that their voices will be heard and taken seriously.